Hi, this is Katie Pertit from katiepertitdesigns.com and today I want to show you how to work with the painted window frame layers that are available in the shop with this free download that I have available for you in the comments below. First, I'm going to start by making a blank screen. When doing a scrapbook page, I always start at 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels with a working profile of the sRGB and I'm going to click OK and I've got my blank document here. I'm going to fill the background with white and I do that by option delete. Now I'm working on Photoshop Creative Cloud 2021 on a Mac. So the next thing I'm going to do is open the freebie. So this is a layered PSD file. You'll see in the download there's also a composite PNG and then there's PNGs of all the layers. So first I'm going to show you how to work with the PSD file with the layers. So my process is to hold down shift and select all the layers. I'm going to drag them over to my scrapbook page. I'm going to position them where I want them. Go ahead and close that window. And I'm going to show you how I bring in an assortment of photos to make a storyboard sort of effect with these frames. So holding down control and click, I can see that I want this middle um, clipping mask to start with. And I'm going to open a photo I have saved here. And let's see, not sure I even remember what I had wanted to show you, so we're just going to wing it. Um, I'm good at winging it, that's kind of my game. All right. I've dragged in the photo over this layer here, and I'm going to go to drop down and say create clipping mask. Then I will begin my adjustments to get it where I want it to be. The photos I'm using today are all from a trip to Iceland, which I highly recommend if you're ever looking for an adventure and it's great for photography. Okay, again, holding down control, I'm gonna click to get the left photo. I'm going to choose a different picture. I'll go with this one. And again, I'm gonna to go to my drop down menu and I'm going to create clipping mask and I'm going to scale it down. And I'm just going to be repeating this with the various clipping masks that I have here. And the shortcut is option command G instead of going to that drop down menu. I like to use a lot of shortcuts when I'm working on my pages. Makes things more quicker and more efficient. And again, I'm gonna look for another photo here. Mm, let's see. I'll go with this one and drag it over, create clipping mask, scale it down a little, position it where I want it. And then I've got one last photo and I'm going to show you how to put it over two of the clipping masks. So we'll use this one and I'm going to bring it in and Command G. Actually, that was Option Command G. And now I also want it in this bottom layer. So I'm just gonna take my layer, drag it over the plus sign to make a duplicate, move it up over that other mask, and again, go to Create Clipping Mask. And you can see, now I'm gonna hold down Command and click on this other layer so I can move them together so I can get it where I want it to be. 
And so that shows you how you can use one or more of the clipping masks for just one photo, or you could put different photos in each of the clipping masks. And that's a you know simple way to get a storyboard started and begin your scrapbook page with the painted window frame layers. Okay, so let's try one more um, way to do this, or actually I've got a couple ideas to show you. We're gonna go ahead and, I'm just gonna put these all in a group. And let's work with, there's also a composite in your download. Let's go back to the freebie. You can see the freebie with the .png at the end. I'm gonna open that. Now that brings in just one block which we also have painted window frames in the store, which are single blocks. They're not the layers um, to work with in, um, for clipping multiple photos. But these do work great for just one photo. So again, I'm going to go and create clipping mask and adjust to focus. That was um, one of the cars that we were in. And there, you can see how the painted window frame layers, or painted window frame single PNGs, can be used for just a single photo. When using these frames, I like to really put um, the center of attention in one of the main windows. I probably would have put it up here if I had more. Let's see if it works if I scale it down, scale it, because I don't want that dark at the bottom. But it's almost like the rules um, a thirds when taking a picture. So keeping your focus in the center and then letting the edges kind of be artistically to fall off. Okay, so that's an example of how you can use the composite PNG. I'm gonna group these and set it aside. Another thing to keep in mind is we're giving you all of the individual layers that make up this painted window frame. So let's just open one. We're gonna scale it, and we'll bring in that same photo, and we will go and create clipping mask. And you could just have a page with one single painted photo. So. When you buy these packs, it's like getting multiple clipping masks to use on various projects. And then you could just go ahead and add your title, some elements, and call it done. It'd be great. All right, I'm gonna group these because I just remembered another little trick that I wanted to show you. And let's see if it works um, with what I'm thinking. Okay, I've had people ask me that they didn't like having all this texture that you can see on the photos. They just wanted the painted edges, which we now have in the store as just window frame layers. So they are solid with just painted edges and the whole photo area is opaque. But if you already have some of these painted window frame layers, and you want this area to be opaque, one of the things you can do, we're gonna go to the clipping mask here, you can see that is used for this photo, and I'm going to duplicate it. Let's see if that works. Uh, not really, okay, so I'm duplicating it. I'm gonna turn off our photo for now, and I'm gonna duplicate it one more time. And so I'm just gonna show you the difference here. And then I'm going to Command E to merge these all to one. Then I'll go back to creating clipping mask. And you can see I have a much more opaque photo here. Show you the difference. Let's release clipping mask on this one and go back. So you can see 
how much more rough it is compared to when I did it this way. So all you need to do is duplicate your masks a couple of times to get it a little darker. And then you could still leave the other ones more um, artistic off to the sides or more textured. And, but you can add focus to your photo a little bit better if you don't want it to be artistic. So just some simple tips and tricks for working with the painted window frame layers. And I hope this has helped and explained anything. If you have questions, please ask in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe so you can see more of these videos and grab more of the freebies I'll be offering. So thanks for watching and I'll see you at katieprateetdesigns.com.